Image backup or file backup? Which one should you use? Got some things for you to think about. Hi, I'm Woody Huffines on the Nurse to Go in McKinney, Texas, and this is Tech for the Untechnical. And you've heard me talk about backups a lot. Backups is an important thing. Remember, three, two, one, three copies, two different media, one offsite or one in the cloud. The cloud counts. And how important it is to have a backup because, as I've said before, there's only two kinds of hard drives, the ones that have failed and the ones that are going to fail. So if all of your data, that everything that you have that's making your life happy and good on the computers on a single hard drive, you have a single point of failure. Not a good thing. Two is one, one is none. So how do you put a backup solution together that makes sure that you don't lose things? And we're going to talk about three different aspects of backups today so that you can kind of make some decisions about how you want to back up your data. And the first one is what we might call a cloud backup of cloud activity. A lot of our clients are using Microsoft Exchange, they're using uh, Microsoft 365, and they've got shared Outlook folders, and some of them are using the uh, G Suite or Google Teams world so that they, they use the Google uh, infrastructure for their email and their shared files and all that. But the question becomes, what happens if you have either an employee that does something dumb or an employee that does something malicious? and they go out on your Google Drive that's the shared drive for your enterprise and they dump all that stuff out. Do you have a backup for that? How would you back that up? So we've got a pretty good solution for that. It's called Drop Suite and we can go out and back up your Google Drive and it'll back up your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, your Gmail, all the Gmail attached stuff so that your Google world gets backed up separately so that you can restore it. So in the case if you have a, an employee that tries to do something a little nefarious and blow a bunch of important files away before they leave, you can go back and get them. Or as often the case with me, if I do something dumb and delete something I didn't mean to, I've got a backup of that Google data someplace that's not just one place, a single point of failure within Google. So if you use Google, and it, even as a as, a, as an individual, if you have a Google Drive and you've got Gmail and you've got your calendar and you've got all that stuff, or the same thing with Outlook, and you'd like to have a solution that backs that stuff up so that if you delete something inadvertently or somebody does something bad in an enterprise that you have a backup, that's one backup solution that I haven't talked about before. I want to mention that before we get started on the other piece of backups. The second kind of backup are backups that back up a computer, a server, an endpoint, a, a load, if you will. It's in the in the nerd world, it's called a load. So your computer is a load, it's a backup load. Now there are two kinds of backups that you can run against computers. One is a file backup and the other is an image backup. Now the easiest one to explain is a file backup. You have a bunch of files in your documents folder, for example, or your downloads folder, where you download things or you save things and you got a documents folder and usually most people in, in a Windows environment put their stuff in the documents folder. And if you do a file level backup, you establish a backup routine that backs up those files. So your documents folder, for example, gets backed up. And if anything changes in those files, the new file gets backed up, and if you do it right, there's incremental files, so you can see the file you saved yesterday in case you save some stuff that you don't want today, you can go back to yesterday's version, but they're based on the files that are in that folder. And all those files get backed up and incremented by some backup strategy, and there's a bunch of different ways to do that. But it's a file level backup. So, as I talked about at the top, if you have a new computer, if your computer, if your computer dies and you go, okay, man, I, I got a backup, it's all good. I'm going to go get my new computer and then move my files down. You have the files, but you don't have any of the applications that created those files. You know, Microsoft Word or, or uh, especially if it's a proprietary software or something you use for your business. For example, we had a client not long ago that was using a, an old uh, testing program and it was a psychological testing program. Great program, very important to what his business was and how he ran his business, but that company is no longer updating that particular program. So he didn't have a disk, he didn't have an install for that program, and although he had the files and he had his clients' tests, 
and he had the instructions, he didn't have the application. So putting all of those test files back on his computer wouldn't do him any good since he didn't have the application. Wish we'd have been there to have a discussion ahead of time because there's a second kind of backup that you can use that restores your computer to just the way it was when the backup was done. And it's called an image backup. Some people call it a bare metal backup. The idea being if you've got software that you can't easily replace or software that's hard to configure or an operating system that's hard to configure. When we do a server, you've got a DNS on the server and you've got all the links of the server, the way the server uh, works with the network and there might be virtual machines within the server and virtual switches so the virtual machines talk to each other. It can be a two or three day operation to reconfigure a server. So if you have a server it makes sense to do an image backup. Now what's an image backup? An image backup is a mirror image of the machine as it exists when you back it up so that you get the operating system, the configuration files, the desktop, the background, everything that's on that computer in that hard drive is duplicated exactly. So, and the reason it's called a bare metal backup, if you go get a new computer and you restore that backup to the new computer, the new computer looks like a mirror image of the old computer because it's an image backup. Now, isn't that cool? Now, the question is, why wouldn't everyone want an image backup instead of a file backup? So, why wouldn't you do an image backup all the time? Well, usually an image backup is more expensive than a file level backup. Because remember, with a file level backup, you're backing up just your data files. So your Word documents and your Excel stuff and whatever's in your documents folder. And that's what gets backed up to the cloud. Most backup solutions charge by how much information you're moving or they have a limit on how much information you can back up. So a file level backup is smaller than an image backup. Because remember, an image backup has the operating system, the configuration of the operating system, all the applications, all the files, all the thumbnails, everything on that computer. So when you have an image level backup, if you have a one terabyte drive, you're moving one terabyte of backup because it's going to make an exact copy of that one terabyte drive. Whereas if you've got 250 megs of Excel files that you're backing up, you've got a lot less data to back up. So you have to make a judgment as to which things are really, really important to have an image level backup of. It might not be worth it for your computer for you to have an image level backup. You don't use anything but the Microsoft Office products and you've got a folder that you keep all your files in. And so if the hard drive dies, you reinstall Office, you put the files in, you're good to go. Whereas this client that we had, had proprietary software that used proprietary files on an older operating system. And when his system died, we can't restore it to what it was because we don't have an image backup. So you have to make a decision. Do you need an image backup? How much pain are you going to experience? Do you need, and that's, some people call it a disaster recovery backup. So if you have a server and your server goes away, it can take two days or three days to reconfigure a server with the DNS and the virtual machines and the virtual switches and all the stuff that goes on. But if you have that image level or bare metal backup, zip, zip, you can restore it in a lot faster time. So how do you decide if you need an image backup or file backup? Well, it's a cost to benefit analysis. How much does it cost you to back up to an image? How much does it cost you to back up just the files? How much time does it take to get back to a mirror copy of the machine if you don't do it by backup? How much does it cost to get the files moved over? You have to kind of look at what's your disaster recovery plan. If it's something that it doesn't mind if it takes three or four days or a week or even a month, then maybe you don't want an image backup. If you have computer software or an operating system um, requirement that is going to require an image backup, maybe it's worth it. So remember, backups are really important. If you want to think about it, discuss with us how you want to do a backup so you can do an image backup or a bare metal backup. So if your computer goes away, you can have one that looks just like it. Understand what that file level backup does for you. So remember, Backups, really, really important. Two kinds of hard drives, 
ones that have failed, the ones that are going to, have a solution put together so when something bad happens, you've got an answer that either gets you a mirror replacement or a drive replacement or what we do sometimes is a combination of the two where you have a disaster recovery backup once a month and file backups weekly and a differential file backup day. We can talk about what the best solution is if you decide to call us about it. But if you have questions about how to do a backup strategy, do give us a call. I'm Woody Huffines. I'm the nurse to go in McKinney, Texas. This is Tech for the Untechnical. Hit the subscribe button, mash the notification bell, share it with your friends, give me a like, and we'll talk again soon.